Hey, everybody. So I'm going to kick off a series that I'm going to call AI Every Day, and I'm going to bring to you um, some insights daily, hopefully in short format. Today, because literally NVIDIA GTC just happened, the keynote was yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and recap some of the really cool announcements coming out of that in short fashion. NVIDIA, broadly speaking, announced things, I would say, across three areas, hardware, software, ecosystem. So hardware is things like they announced the Grace CPU. This is a new high performance replacement for CPU based workloads that uses a whole ton of processors and is very power efficient. They talked a little bit about Grace Hopper again, which is going to be that combined system on chip that's got GPU plus all those CPU resources. That one's not shipping yet. They also announced some specialized inference hardware. So now that models, these AI models like chat GPT and stable diffusion are taking over the world. There's definitely some interest in, I think, splitting the workload apart so that training happens on one type of hardware and inference will happen on another because the demands are not quite the same for those two. There is a bunch of software based announcements. So for example, um, things like their Ku quantum library that allows people to experiment with quantum computer simulation, similar to you know, services being offered by cloud providers like Amazon. They'll let you experiment with what would happen on a quantum computer if it was to the point where you could execute that code. Also a bunch of interesting things, um, libraries for doing things like accelerating vector databases, things to help accelerate certain things in the life sciences area that will speed up drug discovery and so on. So next, NVIDIA announced this thing that with a mix, I think, of hardware and software, which is uh, what they call NVIDIA AI Foundations. And it's basically a way that you can take a bunch of base models that NVIDIA has trained. So they have their uh, Nemo text model, their Picasso visual content model, their Bio Nemo biology model. And basically you can host those models in NVIDIA and then apply fine tuning to them. Another thing on the hardware side that is also more of a service is their DGX Cloud. So they announced DGX Cloud with an unbelievably large number of GPUs uh, available where you basically can rent time like any other cloud provider. And it appears to be in partnership with some of the large cloud providers. Um, and I think that they explicitly mentioned Azure, Google, and Oracle um, all as being part of this announcement. This being basically an ability for you to go and rent anywhere from, I want to say the minimum might be 32 GPUs in a system, but scaling out to much more than that. So the third phase here really is those things that are really just pure software announcements. So you had things like the uh, Raft library for accelerating vector databases, uh, a whole bunch of interesting things around tying to the Omniverse. And I really have to dig into a little bit more about the positioning, but tons of things around content generation, like showcasing ability for creators inside of tools like the Unity engine to use AI to rapidly flesh out things like virtual worlds and games and so on. And I personally have seen a whole bunch of interesting work in this space. And I think that this could be a renaissance for indie developers, because I think generative AI stands to give you the ability to create much larger experiences with much less effort, and then also potentially to create things that are a lot more adaptable to the end user. I think it opens up the possibility for a whole new kind of storytelling, just from a generative AI on text perspective. And then obviously your ability to leverage generative AI to accelerate an R pipeline of unbelievable. So I think those are, that's a really big deal. I think if I had to pick one set of announcements that really struck me as relevant today, it's probably the inference specific hardware. And that has to do with the fact that we are really at a bit of a Cambrian explosion moment for AI. There's tons of interest in things. It certainly has ginned up my interest. And I think that ties into this splitting of hardware that's being used to train model looking different from a GPU perspective than hardware that's being used to produce results from the model and do inference on the model. If you have time, I think it would be awesome to check out the GTC keynote. I think Jensen's an amazing, inspiring figure, and it really is incredible. Literally, he states at some point that the purpose of GTC is to help inspire creators and the people who empower them. I think it really nails it um, on that. And you get to see a ton of mix between real world use cases where 
things today are being done and are happening, but also you get to see the realm of possibilities and where things are leading. So I'm looking forward to when I can have a tool that can outpaint a, a generated image in se a split second, like they were showing in this. Uh, maybe if I had a DGX cluster powering my own personal work, I'd be able to see results like that instead of needing you know, 45 seconds to a minute to outpaint a tiny area of an image but we're on our way. I hope today's AI everyday inaugural update was useful. Follow me. I'm looking forward to bringing you a few minutes of the coolest things in AI every day, and I'll talk to you soon.